see how much this does. We're gonna see how much this does with a helping hand, boosted expanding force. YOLO. YOLO turn one. I don't know what Muck wants to do. He's not even gonna go Terra here, but so. Fake out doesn't work. Does not work because of the terrain. Nice try though. I mean, it's not gonna work. Wow, that just white just one shots Muck. Just one shots him. I'm surprised he never Terra. If I were him, I would have went for Terra there, because I think Terra Steel or something on the Muck would have been pretty good. With the launch of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Indigo Disc DLC. Delphox actually got a few different moves added to its arsenal, one being Expanding Force and the other being Scorching Sands. This actually allows it to hit a lot more stuff for pretty good coverage. And it also makes it a pretty fast Expanding Force user uh, in the game and gives it a really cool niche. So uh, we're going to be hopping into some Regulation F VGC for some Pokemon Scarlet Wi-Fi battles in today's session. Got a really cool Delphox team. It's actually a team made by Porgy Blast. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. It's, I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not, but or John. If you guys want to use this team, link to a rental code up in the corner. You guys can use this team in-game. Uh, really cool team around Delphox. Uh, De this Delphox is actually a Twisted Spoon set with Terra Fairy. It's kind of pretty much what Delphox is. It's a it's still Fire and Psychic typing, which is the same typing as Armor Rogue, which is the more common Psychic Terrain user with like Expanding Force, but Delphox is way faster. And even like faster than Iron Crown, which is the most like the other popular expanding force user right now. It, I think it's actually base 104 speed and has a decent special attack stat and that type of thing. So that kind of makes it a little bit unique because I think it's one of the more faster expanding force users. I think also Meowstic is I think the same speed tier as well, as well alongside it, just because it doesn't have the the fire typing though. So a little bit less viable in my opinion. I think the fire typing is really solid on it. So. Um, apart from that on this team, we actually got a bunch of other standard stuff, Citrus, Incineroar, uh, Tornadus with the Cover Cloak, just mainly for Tailwind and Speed Control. Psychic Seed and Deity are going to be setting up the terrain, which is kind of a no-brainer if you're running Expanding Force, uh, with the Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me type stuff. I got the Ogre Pond Grass on this team, which is a little bit unique. I've been seeing a lot more Ogre Pond Grass just because there's so much Intimidate running around and like stat lowering type stuff running around. A lot of stuff like running Electro Web, Icy Wind, Snarl, and especially stuff with Intimidate like Incineroar and Landris T and that type of thing. So, and you also have like the stat lowering stuff like Bleak Wind Storm can actually lower your speed and that type of thing. So, there's a lot of stat lowering stuff. So, a lot of Defiant Mons are on the rise. Ogre Pond is one of those. I, just, I don't think it's really that good, but we're going to see if, see if it actually proves me wrong. I don't think it's. When you have stuff in the game like other grass types like Rillaboom and like all the other Ogre Pond forms, especially the water form, I think Wellspring is just a million times better. But we'll see how it, how it does. And then we have the Mystic Water of Shifu, which is kind of a no-brainer on this team. So, like I said, if you guys want to use the team, rental code up in the corner. I'm going to keep on bringing you guys, try to bring you guys daily uploads going forward, hopefully going into the new year. Keep on showing support to the videos, and I'll keep bringing you guys daily uploads. If there's anything you guys want to see featured as well, or anything I should look for, for like rental teams, if there's any like specific Pokemon or anything you guys want me to try to specifically use or look like a, look for a team that's I can feature, like that type of thing, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, apart from that, let's hop into some games with this team. Alright, we are here with a game. My opponent has a really cool team. I don't know why he has the level 48 Jolteon, though. He's going to have to go fix that after this match, but he has a really, really cool team. Really cool team. Muck, Serena, Gardevoir, Florges, Gothitelle, and Flareon. Really cool team. The only good thing, or the really bad thing for him, though, is like Delphox and Indeedee is so good versus him. Psy Spam is so good versus him. It really is. The only thing that resists Psy Spam is the... The Gardevoir, which can't do shit back to me at all. And then the, the Gotham Tail, which is kind of passive. It doesn't really do much. I, I bring the Incineroar in the back here, which is really solid. It matches pretty good into his team. It walls the the Flareon and the Serena and the Muck, pretty much. It, especially if they get Intimidate spammed. And then, I actually think I bring Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond doesn't look too bad. Mainly for the Gardevoir and for the Florges. That way I can hit him on the physical side with something. I have knockoff and I have a few other things I can use. If you guys are new and you guys have made it this far, you're not subbed yet, subscribe down below. It's completely free. 
you guys want to become a channel member as well and support the channel, there's a join button down below or a link in the description. Get some really cool perks and support the channel. It allows me to keep on bringing you guys a shit ton of content in the future and improve my content over time with the support from from all that as well. So he leaves the goth the tail and the muck, so that's great. And he can't fake me out either, so like because of the terrain. So what I do here is I just expanding force. We're gonna see how much this does. We're gonna see how much this does with a helping hand boosted expanding force. YOLO. YOLO turn one. I don't know what Muck wants to do. He's not even going to go Terra here, but so. Fake out doesn't work. Does not work because of the terrain. Nice try, though. I mean, it's not going to work. Wow, that just boy, just one shots Muck. Just one shots him. I'm surprised he never Terra. If I were him, I would have went for Terra there, because I think Terra Steel or something on the Muck would have been pretty good. I guess Terra flying ain't too bad either, just to get rid of the ground weakness, but that wouldn't really did anything if. I guess he wouldn't have been touching the ground for the terrain, but I think he still would have got to it killed. Has Gardevoir. He's not Trace, so he's... He must be Telepathy or whatever the other ability is. And I mean, I, I think I just expanding Force again. It's a 2-hit KO on the Gothitel. It With the Helping Hand boost, it is a 2-hit KO. I just, I just spam. I'm going to be mad if this guy surrenders. I'm going to be mad if he surrenders. Please don't surrender. Please don't surrender. I want to showcase the Del Fox, please. I think he's debating whether he should surrender or not, because he's gonna, but he's about to get swept. He's gonna take. Oh, he has a Terra. That's why. What Terra are you? Are you Terra Steel? Terra fight. Okay. Well, you're about to get knocked into like the twentieth, two hundred millionth fucking dimension, bud. Why would you Terra fighting versus me? Unless you're choice, I guess unless he's choice scarfed. Maybe he's scarfed. He's not. He's gonna protect. That's fine. Wow, you're you're gonna get knocked into the millions of dimension, bud. T the one of the only matches where I think I've ever seen Terra fighting Gardevoir, and it happens to be when I'm using Psy Spam. That is the, probably the worst time to ever use that at all. I feel bad for Bro right now. I really do. I don't even know what, what would Terra fighting even do for the Gardevoir though. Like, what does Terra fighting even do? I don't know what that really even does for it defensively at all either. Because like your fairy, you're you're neutral to dark types, and you can deal with the dark types because you're fairy types. So that doesn't really do anything there. If you guys know what Terra Terra fighting Gardevoir, what that would do defensively or offensively, let me know. Because I have no idea what that route would do and why you would need to Terra fighting. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys happen to know. Yeah, and he has Serene in the back too, that's great. I, I think I just end up sweeping here. I think this is going to be a sweep. I think this is a uh, sweep. He's just going to surrender. I'm surprised he never surrendered last turn, but whatever. Not bad. Really solid. Solid way to start. Not bad. I'll take it. Really solid showcase for the Del Fox. Not too bad. Really, really solid start. I'm going to try to showcase the Del Fox as much as possible, but uh, it might be difficult with a lot of these sweatier teams on the ladder currently that people are trying to test for Regulation F, but I'll see you guys in the, in the next match. Alright, we are here with another game. Kind of mad because I had 10 minutes of my time wasted. I actually just had a game where I was going like against a hard trick room team, and I was outplaying them like every single turn. And like 10 minutes into the into the game when the match was starting to wind down, the guy rage quitted after I made like a 200 IQ play. And he rage quitted. So I don't think all you guys actually be seeing that video. But that's just really aggravating just because I wasted like 10 minutes of my time. And I, I don't think I'll even be able to use that. So my phone has the copy paste garbage. There you go. Tornadus, Incin, Rillaboom, copy paste garbage, Chimpow, Flutter. Or Shifu, whatever. Nothing at all that's crazy about that. Nothing unique. What do I do here? What do I do? I think I bring Ogre Pond, solid lead. I think I bring Ogre Pond, Tornadus here. If he leads Ensign, I get a plus one buff. If he brings Flutter, I can set up my Tailwind. I guess it's like a terrain ain't bad here. It ain't too bad either. If I can get rid of his terrain, I'll bring the Indeed and I'll bring the Adult Fox in the back. I think the main problem with that, though, is if he has the uh, Spinner Chimpow 
or if he wants to try to screw around my terrain. That's the, kind of the main problem. I'm trying to get you guys some, some Delphox showcase action here with the Delphox, but it's just really difficult when everybody fucking rage quits on me. It really is, and it's just such a waste of time. It, it's really aggravating. If you guys are enjoying the video, though, if you guys have made it this far, leave a like. I really would appreciate it. It really helps out the videos and lets me know you guys are enjoying the, the work I'm putting into the videos. I get the plus one boost turn one. That's not bad. That ain't bad. That's a solid turn one. So what I do here is I hit a spiky shield. I mean, I can icy wind too. Icy wind wouldn't be too bad. It just comes down to like if I outspeed his tornadoes. I don't think I'm actually running any speed on this tornadoes. And my build is kind of weird. I'm not going to swap in. No, no, no. I just want to look at my IV or my EVs. It has some HP, almost max speed. HP has bulk all around the board, pretty much. So, good to know. Some kind of more unique EV builds. I don't, I'll go for Tailwind here. I think he's going to try to fake out, but... And this is another game where I wish I had Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum here would probably do so much damage to the Incineroar. I don't know. If, if there was one critique I would make with this team, this Ogre Pawn, instead of the... the the horn leech on this thing, I would put stomping tantrum because you it, it's required. It is just required for Incineroar every single time. Having double grass and, and knockoff, you just can't touch it at all. This goes for Bleak Windstorm. That's fine. Fine by me. At plus one, though, like, does not. I don't know how much knockoff will actually do. It will see how much a knockoff does at plus one. And I can go for Icy Wind here, but I don't know if that really does anything to me. Or at least for me here, because they're both kind of slow. I have Tailwind up now, too. He gets his own Tailwind up. Let's see how much a knockoff does. I think the Ogre Pond's going to get blown back by a, a Flare Blitz here. It doesn't even do that much at plus one. So he's running, like, fully defensive Tornadus. That's what he's running. How much a Bleak Wind Storm does. It doesn't do nearly enough, unfortunately. any citrus like every single fucking incineroar is i have never seen any incineroars apart from citrus that is legit every single thing he runs i think i've seen maybe a few avs i've seen a few assault vest ones but every other one like 99 percent of them are citrus he has rillaboom Kind of a problem actually, because I'm forced now. I'm forced to spike a shield on this turn again. Otherwise, I get faked out, and I'll, I'll take a. I'll have to eat a bleak wind storm, which kind of sucks. And I'm I'm trying not to Terra the Ogre Pond just because he has the Incineroar, and if he comes in again, he can he can give me another free boost. So like that's why I'm trying not to Terra Ogre Pond here. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for icy wind though. He doesn't know that I'm Culvert Cloak, so he might actually just try to fake me out. But if he does, then he's going to realize I'm Culvert Cloak. He actually does. He actually does. Okay, that's good. Bleak Wind Storm. If I can live this, if I can live, I can get an Icy Wind off here. That'd be a huge play. I live on 10. Wow, that's huge. I think he might have got a low roll there. That probably should have killed me. Get rid of the Tornadus. Get out of here, bud. I don't know how much the speed drop really matters on the Rillo Boom, but... I think I was maybe better off going for Bleak Wind Storm there, but as long as the Tornadus is gone, that's good for me. I hope he goes into Incineroar again and gives me another free boost. That'd be huge. Go into Incineroar and give me another free boost, please. Oh, he has Chen Pao, so that's bad. That's really bad. So I don't know if I actually have plus one if I actually outspeed. I think what I actually do here is I'm going to actually go out into the... I, I kind of want to go into the Indeedee on this turn. Save the Tornadus. I want to go into the Indeedee, Indeedee here. How many turns of uh, Tailwind do I have? I have one turn of Tailwind. I think with a speed boost and a Tailwind boost here, I should be able to outspeed the... the uh, Chim Pao. I think I should be able to. So I'm going to Ivy Cudgel here. He might just straight up protect too, but... And then I'm going to switch out the Tornadus into the Indeedee here to switch the terrain. That's what I'm going to do here.
I swear if he makes like a 200 IQ play and goes for Ice Spinner on this turn, I'm gonna be really pissed. Oh, he's gonna tear Let me guess, Terra Ghost? Or are you gonna tear the Rilla Woman Terra Fire? Terra Stellar Terra, that's a new one. I have not seen Stellar Terra at Chimpao until now, that's new. That's a new one. You can't sucker punch me though. You you ain't sucker punching me. You're unless he goes for ice spinner, I guess, or like has like crunch or throw chop. I think it might get knocked off too, but I'm not sure. I don't think it does, but I know it gets throw chop and crunch for sure. I get the speed boost, so he's at he has tailwind too, but I'm at plus two speed now. So sucker punch doesn't work. Get shit on. Get shit on and outplayed. Get out of here. Please don't be Sash. Get out of here, bud. Wow, get outplayed. Get outplayed. He's not even Sash. I don't know what what item would you really run on that. I mean, I guess Life Orb, maybe, or if he's Choice Bandit. I, it's, you rarely see Chen Pao without Sash and how frail it is. And he actually goes for Grassy Glide. He doesn't get the priority because of the Psychic Terrain. And he can't switch out anymore. What a play that was. That was great. That worked out so well. He gets me the minus one, so now I'm back down to neutral attack, but that's fine by me. I don't care. I don't know what he's even going to do to me anyways. I'm going to knock off here. I'm going to knock off, and he can't fake me out either because there's terrain, so he can't even do anything. Like, I'm not really even scared of the... Actually, I'm not really even scared of the... Of the, uh, the Rillaboom, because I have Delphox in the back, so... Worst comes to worst, he one-shots Ogre Pawn, and I can go freely out into Delphox. So I'm just going to get get some damage on the Incineroar. That's the main threat here. And then I'm going to Helping Hand, see how much that does. He surrenders. Wow. Another match, though, where the, the Delphox can't even hit the field and then my opponent fucking surrenders, or at least he never DC'd, but that probably would have been the next thing he probably would have did. I really want to showcase the Delphox for you guys, but everybody keeps fucking rage quitting and surrendering way too early. I wish he would have stayed. That way I could have showcased the Delphox. I don't know. I'm going to try to at least get one final game at least showcase of the Delphox in this video for you guys. I don't want the video to go like past 35 minutes, so I'm going to try to keep the video below 35 minutes, but I'll throw one more game into this video for you guys. Alright, we're here with another game. My opponent's running hard trick room. R another hard trick room team. Corygon 2, Raging Bolt, Frigoraph, Hydrapple, and Incineroar Primarina, so... I think if he actually brings a, I don't, I think he might actually spring Frager out to set up a Trick Room, but like Porygon still is really good. I kind of want to bring a, the Urshifu here just mainly for the Porygon too, but at the same time it kind of gets walled by like the rest of his team, so it gets kind of walled by the R Raging Bolt and then a few other things. The Incineroar kind of just intimidates it for free, so. Another game where I think I should meet Ogre Pond. I think I bring the Ogre Pond here is really solid. I bring Ogre Pond, and I think I bring Incineroar as a lead here. And then I think I actually bring Terrain in the back. I think that's my play. I'll bring Terrain. I think that's my play. It's going to be a tough game to win. If he gets Trick Room up, he has a really solid chance of winning. I'm seeing a lot of Trick Room Pre-Marina as well, which I think is probably the best way to use Pre-Marina currently is under Trick Room. It's not really fast enough to throw it under Tailwind, and there's just so many other better water types to use under Tailwind, so... Seeing a lot of pre marine or even like Raquanid. I think those are like the two best physical or like water types, special and physical water types in Trick Room I've been seeing. He leads this again, so he leads pre marine of Frigraph. Actually, these are the same thing. This is a different, entire different guy, but there was a guy that rage quitted me on me earlier in the same team he had too. He actually had a pre marine and a Frigraph too, and he played with that as well. So, kind of why I say with this again, because the guy that rage quitted on me earlier. After like 10 minutes, he had kind of the same thing. He had the same lead. He didn't have the same Mons on his team, but he had a Primarina and a Frigoraph. And an Incineroar on his team. Kind of a similar Trick Room type team, but... A few different things. I think he had an Arcladon and a few other stuff on his team, but... So here's Primarina here. I think he's actually going to protect the Primarina. What I do here is I'm just going to double into the Frigoraph. He has the Armor Tail, so... I'm just doubling into the Frigoraph here. Knock off pl plus... Darkest Lariat here should kill the Frigoraph 100%. This is how I killed the Frigoraph too in that, in that previous game before the guy Rage quitted after, after like 10 minutes. 
And he's actually rocking helmet too, so that's great. It's the same item as last. This ain't the same guy though, it's a different guy. This ain't the same team, but he's running the tech, almost probably the exact same build as the other guy did. Hopefully this guy doesn't rage quit on me, because I know that kills. So now he's down a trick room setter. He's gonna bring in Cinnaroar and give me a plus one boost. Okay, bud. That's fine by me. Just give me a plus one boost. I'll admit, like, I, I was shitting on the Ogre Pond, but I've brought Ogre Pond to every single game, plus the, some of the, most of the games I used to test this team. I, I, I think I ran like two or three testing games before I actually recorded this for you guys and recorded some of these games. And like I think like, two out of the three games were that as well. I also brought the Ogre Pond, so... I was kind of shitting on the Ogre Pond. I'm, I'm still shitting on its moveset. I don't think this is a great moveset for it, but... The Ogre Pond I brought the majority of my games, just mainly because Incineroar is on every single fucking team, though. I'm gonna spike his shield here because he's probably gonna go for fake out. And then I think what I do here, I can maybe go for parting shot here on the pre marina, which wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna party I'm gonna parting shot the pre marina here. He's gonna Terra. Is he Terra Grass? Terra Grass Pre Marina. He is, so I'm glad I never attacked him. That's great. He's probably a Terra Grass with probably Throat Spray is the most common item. And I'm also making a Trick Room team right now as well. A little bit of a spoiler, depending on when you guys are seeing this. I also have a Trick Room team in the works. He has Temper Flare. That's kind of cool. That actually has Primarina and Cinnaroar and a few other things on it as well. So I kind of know what a lot of the, the more Trick Room stuff that's being ran, like what they're kind of running currently, because I'm kind of building the same thing. And he has a Porygon 2 on it as well that I'm gonna be building. Porygon 2, uh, Primarina, and there's a few, uh, Cinnaroar, and there's like two or three other things that I'm gonna be running. A little bit of a spoiler for those of you guys that make it this far in the video. Uh, what do I actually do here? I go for, I go for a parting shot, but, I mean, he turned into a grass type now, though, so I can go for Delph, I go into Delphox here. At minus one, I should be able to live anything he has. At minus one. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. He crits me. He crits me. Of course he does. Never mind. And he's throat spray, so that's a problem. Now he's I guess he's just at neutral again though, so whatever. It's kind of a problem. I wish I would have brought her Shifu. I think her Shifu would have been pretty solid here, but I don't know. I, instead of the, I don't know what else I would have really switched out on this team though, because their Tornadoes that wouldn't have really done anything. Like, that's kind of a bad matchup into this combo. I don't really have much for for Prima, especially if it's like Terra Grass. If it's Terra Grass, I don't really have much for it actually. But I'm at plus one. I knock off is neutral, but like he has no item anymore, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for Ivy Cudge and we're gonna see how much it does at plus one. I mean, I can tear a grass here too, I think. I might as well, I might as well tear a grass and see how much it does. And then I can fake out Incineroar here. I really wanted Delphox to do something in this, I really did, but a lot of the games I got, like Delphox, either I, everybody rage quit it or they surrendered before it was able to even hit the field or like do anything most of the time. I think if you really want to call this like a video, I think it's meant to be for the Delphox, but like I think this is more of a showcase of grass type Ogre Pond if I'm being real. Ogre Pond's been putting in the fuck ton of work. And he protects. He protects, of course he does. Of course. I mean, I'm an Ivy Cudgel again. You're gonna get knocked back one way or another. I mean, I guess I can Flare Blitz too. I'm assuming he's under Trick Room, so like he's gonna still be taking a shit ton of damage. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel the Incineroar this time, actually, and I'm gonna Flare Blitz. If he's a Trick Room build, I should be able to outspeed him. He's gonna switch. What do you have in the back? Raging Bolt. He ain't gonna want to take a Flare Blitz. It's at plus one. Plus one Terra Ivy Cudgel. That still doesn't do nearly enough. 
Wow, Temper Flare does too much. I think it actually does double damage I turn too because I faked him out, so he got flinched. I don't know if that counts as a move failing because he technically flinched, but maybe that's why it does double damage. I think I lose now. I think I lose now. Now that I don't have the instant, the, uh, the Del Fox anymore because I got critted. That crit 100% mattered there as well. That crit 100% mattered because he was at minus one. At minus one, I was should have lived there because it has Delphox has decent special defense. So that crit 100% mattered there. And then I would have been able to come in on the next turn and then... I mean, I guess he could have protected, but I still would have been able to try to do damage to him. I had a few plays I could have did there. And I could also maybe withdrew out into the... into the Indeedee to get the terrain up on that same turn. I had a few plays I could make, but I don't think it matters anymore, though. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam here. I think what he does is he withdraws the Incineroar and then he goes right out into the Pre-Marina again. I think that's what he actually does. That way he can come in and intimidate me. So I think that's what he's gonna do here. He's gonna stay in. How much does a Dazzling Gleam do? That does nothing. That does nothing. Dragon Pulse does a fuck ton of damage. Knock off, I'm dead. I live. I still think he wins, though, because... I don't know, he's running a Trick Room team, but, like, his Incineroar outspeeds mine for some reason, which is really weird. It's really, really weird. Because usually if you're running Trick Room, like, you're running zero speed, so I don't know. Unless it's just a speed tie, I'm not sure, but... If he's running full-on Trick Room with, like, Porygon 2 and Fragorath, I don't know why his Incineroar is outspeeding a bunch of shit. Same with the Pre Marina. If the, the Pre Marina here, if he's running Trick Room, he should be running a minus speed, like no speed IV. And with that, I think the Pre the Incineroar should outspeed him here. So that and he might actually just protect on this turn too as well, but I don't know. I don't even know what I do for this on this turn. If he protects here, I think I automatically lose anyways. Or I just go for helping hand flare blitz into the pre marina. Which I think is what I'm going to try to do here. But if he protects, then I'm, it's pretty much my entire turn is gone, so. Moment of truth, does he protect? And is he like a minus speed nature? Because if he's not and he outspeeds me, then he's, he wins. He brings me down to my citrus berry, so I have to kill from this range. I gotta kill from this range. Okay, he has no speed, so I can outspeed him. Wow, I one-shot him, so we're back in the game. We're back in the game. What a play. If he would have protected there, I think he would have automatically won. That was a 50-50. I still think he does win, though, because there's no way I, I, I kill the Raging Bolt here at all. Dazzling Gleam does nothing. Well, that Dazzling Gleam is she does zero, so... And he can't go for Thunderclap either because I have the terrain, so he's just forced to spam Dragon Pulse. I mean, all Dazzling Gleam, we see how much damage it does. And then I can go for Darkest Lariat, I guess. But I think, uh... It was a solid amount of damage, though, I guess. But I think Dragon Pulse kills me here. If he gets a higher roll, it kills me. He gets a crit, so I think that might have mattered. So it, not only does this guy get one crit that matter, I think the, the other crit actually matters. Because there was a chance I could have lived there. I did around about that amount of damage last time. If he would have got a low roll there, I think there was a chance I would have lived. So that sucks. If I can get a crit Dazzling Gleam in return, I can maybe win. Come on, game. No, I don't get a crit at all. I lose. I live. I live. So if I can get a crit on this turn, I can maybe win. If I can get a crit here, I can maybe win. I wish I was... Is this thing Terra Fairy? This thing's... I think it's Terra... I forgot what Terra this thing is. It's Terra Psychic, so I guess that wouldn't have mattered either. I was going to say, if I had Terra Fairy and I would have saved my Terra for this point in the match, I would have maybe automatically won, because he wouldn't have been able to do anything, but I need a crit here to win. I don't get a crit. That's game. Another match where I get I get fucked by the crit. Another match where I get fucked by the crit, because that crit on the Incineroar there and the other crit on the Del Fox 100% mattered and allowed him to win the game. If he did not get both of those crits, I would have won. That sucks. I, I, one, I love the game. Like, I really love playing competitive. But one of the things I really fucking hate 
is when you you're playing the game and you get fucked after making every play that you can make just outplaying your opponent but then you get fucked by the random rng random crits random lower high rolls that's that's the only few things i do hate about it which is really random you can't really do anything to them because it's out of your control which kind of sucks let's talk a little bit about this team overall i think if you guys want a pretty solid del fox team this is a pretty fun team to use i wouldn't say this team is like extremely viable it does kind of struggle with a lot of the more like really meta stuff being used right now and a lot of the times at least what i struggle with is trying to get the del fox in freely or like have it actually do anything a lot of the games i tried to bring the del fox unfortunately it either didn't really do much or a lot of the stuff that i kind of pair around it like the indeedy and that type of thing usually just ended up getting really shut down to the point where you weren't even even able to get the del fox in or allow the del fox to really be supported enough to actually put in work so that's one thing you kind of got to be careful with this with with this team but apart from that it has a few really solid tools on this team the ogre pond i think really changed my opinion on it for this session if anything the ogre pond probably the mvp of this team if i were to actually guess i know the team is built around del fox and everything but at least for me playing this team i think the mvp for me was probably the ogre pond put in a shit ton of work the only problem i have is i don't know why it has two grass stab moves what i would do is actually just get rid of horn leech and put stomping tantrum or superpower onto this thing i think if it would have superpower or stomping tantrum this the ogre pond would have been so much better in a lot of my games i just lacked the grounder like super effective type you either hit incineroar or like a few other things that i went against so that otherwise i would just got walled I, I, otherwise i just got walled by him because i only had grass type coverage which kind of sucked so that's my only like other major complaint with this team apart from that it's pretty solid if you guys want a fun team rental quote up in the corners to support the creator of the team apart from that hopefully you guys enjoyed thanks for watching i got a bunch more stuff on the way in the near future and i'll see you guys in a future video